Hi guys, it's Aaliyah. Welcome back to my channel. So, of course, yes, I did a thing again. And uh, let me just show you what I did. I have another Timu haul to share with you. <laughs> now, I went through it just to make sure that um, everything that I had ordered did come in. But I didn't actually open anything, though. I mean, I know what it is. I just... There's some things that I really want to see. So without further ado, let's just start going through it. And actually, let me make sure. I'm kind of far. Oh, nope. That's the wrong way. Hmm. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to put that there just so I know. All right. If I stay in the middle. Okay, good. So there is this, and it's funny because sometimes I order stuff, and at the time when I ordered it, I kind of knew what it was, but now that it's in, like, here, I don't really remember what it was. So let's just see. Um, it says med medieval vintage of books. Medi <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> oh, I do remember. Okay. So basically, that's just kind of like a protective outside, but it's just, it looks like it's supposed to be like, even like, look at the edges. They pretend to like make them old um, and it's supposed to be like vintage music paper. So I thought that was kind of cool. And then on the back, as you can see, it's just blank. So, oh, and see, look at, here's some more that it's kind of like torn. So it looks like it was like torn out of a book. This is actually Christmas. I should go through these because... If there's Christmas ones, you know, I can always take them aside and, um, you know, use them in Christmas journals, even though Christmas is kind of far away, but that's okay. All right, so I'm not going to try not to dwell too much on everything just so we can get through it because I did order um, a bunch of stuff, <laughs> which, you know, it happens. All right, so these are like little, um, they called them bookmarks, but to me, they're tags, and they're just really cute and grungy. They're giving me a real, like, Tim Holtz vibe, which I absolutely love, and they're blank on the back, and they all do have the little, um, like, a little punch out, so you could put a ribbon through that. Now, it's funny because there's one piece of ribbon. I don't know if there was supposed to be more, but... That's okay, because I wouldn't use that ribbon anyway. I'd want to use, like, something, you know, fluffy and lacy. So there are those. Make sure I'm in frame. All right, let's see. Um, then there are these. I thought they looked interesting. I wasn't really sure how they would be, but let's just take a look. So they're supposed to be, like, little, um, I think I can just take that off, like little vintage receipts. And you know what? The paper that they're on, it's almost like that recycled feeling paper. Um, and this actually is really cool. These are perfect to stick in a pocket or something because you have the back that's blank. But it's like a, I don't know how to describe it. It's like a newsprint paper, but it's thick. So that's pretty cool. So it's these and it's it says beverage and cigar order for specials. So, I mean, obviously... It's supposed to be like, you know, like a reproduction, but I just think it's cool. So there is that. There was another one too. Let me find it. Here we go. And this one is a little bit different. This one is like a landscape and it's supposed to be, well, this says uh, Western Union Telegram, which is again, awesome. Same paper. Oh my gosh. This is really cool. I like these because these I'm definitely using in pockets. And I like that they're a little bit... I don't know how to describe it. Um, it. I feel like it's not it's not fragile, but it's not like a cardstock. I don't know, but it's perfect. So these were actually what, not that what I was looking for, but I like them. I'll just say that. Okay, then, oh, this isn't really crafty related, but I saw these and I think this is one of those things like, where sometimes you get those like coupons where it's like, oh, pick a free thing. Um, so they're just little, I mean, they're just pens. That's all they are. But they had cute little, see, they're like little cats. So these ones I'm actually bringing to work. 
So that is cute. All right. And then we have this. And I think this is paper. But let's take a little look-sees. All right. This. Yeah. I think it's just like paper. And you can like cut it or you can use it as like um, pattern paper. Like for books. Not books. Oh my gosh. Journals. Like pages for journals. Um, or anything. So. I don't know why, but I really like the way this stuff smells. I don't, it's just a, that's a fun smell. So they're just all supposed to be like, um, vintage looking plant, uh, pictures, plants and flowers. They are pretty. So, I mean, I'm definitely using these. And even if I don't use it as a page, like the background for a tag or something, that'd be really nice. Like I just really, am I even in frame? Oh, I am. Okay, good. <laughs> Sometimes I get carried away and I forget to look up. Okay. Yeah. So, ooh. Ooh, I love these ones here. That's really pretty. And these, they just keep getting better. Better and better and better. Awesome. Oh my gosh. One of my faves. This one right here. So, I would actually maybe turn these into the ones that I really like that I don't really want to cut down too much. Maybe a large tag. I don't know. But I like those. So that is, that's cool. Alrighty. Oh, this is, this is one of those random things. I needed some scissors. I wanted a long pair of scissors. Um, I have a pair of scissors that I've had for, uh, it's the same scissors I've been using for like, I don't know, the longest time. I wanted the blades to be a little bit longer. Um, and these, I mean, these are actually really good scissors. I think I must've got them at Walmart or something years ago. Uh, never had a complaint with them, but I was just looking for a new pair of scissors to, um, oopsies, to, um, to get. And I'm hoping the blade does look longer. Okay, good. It is. See the difference? I don't know. Am I in frame? I hope I'm in frame. But just like, sometimes I feel like if I'm cutting something, I, I have to keep cutting and cutting and cutting. With a longer blade, I can cut once and get like a, a longer cut, if that makes sense. So those are cool. And of course, you know me, all the stuff that I buy from Timu is always really cheap. I always pay $2 or under per thing because I don't like spending a lot of money ever. But Timu is like a really good place to get stuff because you can get really, really inexpensive things that are really cool. All right, so this is more paper. Oh, look at these. So it's all supposed to be like, you know, like vintage, here we have receipt, vintage letter, um, you know, all these different things. Oh, awesome. But I wanted, what I wanted really, uh, I saw this and I actually, I think I paid a little more than I normally would. I think I paid like two, I want to say maybe 238, which in the grand scheme of things, is it expensive? No, but I like to have rules when I buy things and anything on Timu, I try to do $2 or under this. I think I remember it was 238, 246, something along those lines. So it's more than I would normally spend, but I got it because I'm always looking for like fun ephemera pieces to put in pockets and tuck spots and stuff in my journals that is blank on the back so you can write on it. So this is definitely, look at that. It's like all like different vintage things. This is just really cool. And then on the back, so like I could even fold it in half or something and stick it in a pocket. And then if you need something to journal on, you have the backs. But it just like, I'm just gonna flip through real quick like this. Like it has these ones that look like they're on craft paper, all those. And it's just really cool. And then this is on like regular paper. So, I mean, I love this. So I'm definitely going to get another one of these. And I'm going to see also if maybe there's a larger size. Because this is, um, I had my ruler. Oh, here's my ruler. Hold on. This is, I think this is four by, four by five and a half. So even if I could get something a little bit bigger than this, that'd be cool too. But this is a good size though of pages to put in pockets. So that's what I was looking for when I did get that. All right. Um, oh, then I also decided, I don't know how these came up, but I'm, I got ink. Okay, so <laughs> let me regress a little bit. Funny story. 
for some reason, it's always stuck in my head that when you're distressing um, the edges of pages or tags or whatever, um, you have to use like, you know, a distress ink. And that's what I've always, always used. And I don't know why I have such a hard time wrapping my head around the possibility that you can use ink, like ink pads, to also ink your edges. My friend Lolly does it all the time. And I'm like, why don't I do that? Like, I don't know. I'm like, am I afraid? Maybe. <laughs> I'm not sure. But I bought two colors. Um, well, this one's black. So it's also can be for stamps too, both of them. This is black. And this is... I don't know if you can see that it's like kind of like a glittery but it's kind of representative of like a walnut stain or something um so i did get this color and then i got the black and we're gonna see how that goes i'm going to because this one that i just recently got too it's not opened so before i open this one i'm gonna try to use this one just to i don't know <laughs> like pull a band-aid off just use regular ink it's not that scary and i don't know why i can't figure that out but so that's what i got those for oh and then i also got um some more well another actually i got two hold on where's the other one um i got two daubers and i got it like kind of like one for each ink pad um and it also has an extra little felt piece there so one for here one for there that's that but they also where are they i got uh refills for them too which i don't know where they are right now they'll come out later oh here they are but i don't know about these refills i was looking at them through the bag they look a little sus so let's just check it out oh you know what this is not what I was thinking it was. I thought when I saw this black, I thought it was, see how one side's black and one side's white, but see how thin it is? You know what this is? This is, listen, it's sandpaper. What? That is really cool. So, I mean, you could put it on the end of this because it has this, you know, they could stick. And then you could use this to like, sand your paper like you know how like sometimes you do the edges to make them look a little worn oh that's really interesting so this is not what i was thinking they were but that's even cooler huh so these are all little sand little round sandpaper things and they go i'm assuming you could put them on the end of a dauber because it's easier to use the dauber than try to do it like this i mean you could but oh cool okay well that's interesting so that means that i have to go back on to timu and find some refills for these <laughs> and then you know what's gonna happen then <laughs> oh gosh all right so i got this i don't know why well no i'm not gonna say i don't know why i got this i do know why but at the same time i don't know why because do i really need it no did i want it because it was like a dollar something yes um, and that's the terrible part about me and Timu, Timu is I get things that I really don't need. I saw this and you put, well, it's usually for like stickers and stuff. You put them inside here, but I'm thinking putting all my little, um, like little, here, like I have feet, like things like this and like little boxes, but I have so much that I was thinking of putting some in here and it's just an easier way to store them. And then you just kind of close it and there you go. So that's what I got it for. Why? I have no idea because all my little things are in boxes and when the boxes start getting empty, I just put more in them. So gosh, I don't know why I did that, but I'm sure I'm going to find something to put in it. So <laughs> I'm not too, too worried. Then this was one of those things when I was looking for something else, this came up and then I got little ideas in my head. So they're little bags, you know, like little bags and they have stars and moons on them. Am I in frame? Hopefully. Can you see it? Uh, and they're all different colors. And I thought it would be really cute if I put some like little bits of ephemera, close it and then like um, 
use a bulb pin to hang it off the side of a journal or something just as a different way of adding ephemera into a journal. So I only bought one package because I wasn't sure how it was going to be or how it would actually work. But this is actually orange and the journal I'm working, I'm going to give you a really quick sneak peek. The journal I'm working on is orange. So, I mean, it's not the same orange. No. Let me see. Hmm. Actually, I probably do this one. It's supposed to be, it's like, it looks like a pale orange, but it's probably yellow. But I don't know, maybe off a page. I don't know. I'm going to put this together. Um, but I thought that would be kind of cool to do something like that. So that's why I got those. And the whole bag was like 58 cents. So I just, I want to try it. Put some stuff in there and uh, use it as like a little ephemera holder or something. All right, then I got this because, and this is like a useful thing. Um, I don't know how it came up. I was looking for something else. Let me just see what all comes with it because I wasn't exactly sure what's in here. Do you unwrap this or is this just, what is it? Oh my gosh, I don't know. Let's see. I don't, I always don't like ripping stuff because is there actually something in here or was it just to, I don't think I see anything. No, it might have just been because this is a sharp pokey thing and maybe it's just to protect a sharp pokey thing. Yeah, I don't see anything. So, okay. So, like I said, this is a sharp pokey thing. And why is this, is this supposed to? I don't know exactly what these are. I'm going to have to go back in. But I bought this because I am forever... You know how, like, your glue bottles get stuck? And you have to... Well, I use a paper clip, and I open a paper clip and stick it down there. But I found this little pokey thing. And um, I think it's good to... I think it'll work on this one, too. This one doesn't usually get stuck, but... Yeah, to, like, open up the tip. But I'm also thinking... This is pretty sharp and it's it might be also good just to make holes in the journal to sew but I have to find out what these are these are something obviously but I don't know I don't know exactly what the tops are for and this doesn't really fit hmm I'm going to have to look it up again, but that's what I got it for, to unclog my glue nozzles. So I'm going to look that up and just see exactly what I'm doing with that. But that's what that was. Um, sometimes it says what's on there, but no. Okay, anyways, moving on. So last thing I got, and I don't know why I got this, a bunch of different laces. Um... And we'll just open them real quick just to see what each one is maybe real quick oh here we go so oh these are pretty i can never tell what's the front and what's the back so there's that one i like that one a lot so i got it in this color and i also got it in black so these two are exactly the same this one uh I have a white one like this, but it's almost out, and I like this, like, it looks like walnut stain color. I like that a lot. So I got that one. Then, these ones are more fancy, and I, they're actually a lot bigger than I thought they would be, which is okay. I'm not mad about that, but look it. Isn't that pretty? And I love the color. So that's, it can definitely hang on the edge of a pocket or something like could you just picture that so that's what these three are so there's that one there is this one oops sorry i think that was all up in the camera so they're very similar actually they might even be the same yeah same exact one so, oh you know what that's right i do remember i wanted it in but why did I get these two colors? They're very close. Sometimes, you know, like when you look on the screen, colors do t 
or not do, but they tend, they can tend to look a little bit different. Is it me or am I having trouble? There we go. Um, and I thought these were two different colors, but I could be wrong because they look pretty similar. Uh, I mean, pretty similar. This one's a little bit more gold. This one's a little bit more brown, but pretty close. But I don't care because I like these beige colors. This one too. And then like, it just, it's perfect. And actually, you know what? That is everything I got. So not as much as I thought. Well, kind of. <laughs> but all stuff that I'm definitely going to be using. Um, the only one that I'm confused about kind of is this, even though I, I know what I bought it for, but I got to look more into this. But everything else is as expected. Ex also, this was not as expected, but now is really cool. So I might have to do some tags or something using these just to test them out and see. So that'll be interesting. Um, and yeah. Oh yeah, and these are the other laces. So I think my little bag idea too is going to be cool. So we'll wait for that. And I can also put like maybe like a little charm in each along with some like little bits of ephemera or like, see these, I love using these. I got these at Timu too. These little flowers, I can put like a couple flowers in there. These I use all the time. Um, and then, you know, tie it up and then hang it from a pocket or something. Or I could even hang it from like the tie on the front. That'd be cool. So there's just so many possibilities. And I'm thinking if this one turns out the way I think it is going to turn out, I'm going to try to order ones maybe that aren't so colorful, maybe, you know, even like these colors or white and I could always coffee dye them too but um I mean for the price that I paid for them you really can't beat it so I'm definitely gonna try that so that is everything I hope you guys enjoyed watching me unwrap everything that I got um I do have to let you in on a little secret uh please don't judge I may or may not have a couple more Timu orders on the way they might have cleared customs the day before yesterday supposedly according to my email <laughs> so I might be back on but it's not my fault well it kind of is my fault it's just it's terrible it's just wonderfully terrible that's what I have to say it's so wonderful but just so addicting at the same time <laughs> and anybody that goes on to Timu will understand what I'm talking about so that is it for this video. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed watching what I got. Um, do be careful if you do go on to Timu and um, just don't get sucked down the rabbit hole like I always do. <laughs> oh gosh. So as always, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you on my next video. Bye.